Hi everybody. Today I want to talk about something that's something that's classic and I've owned for a little while. The boat shoes. Um, this was popular back in the 1980s when I was growing up. And uh, I mean years ago I got myself one because it is such an easy thing to wear. Sperry Top Sider, the boat shoes. I know some of the stylists are probably going to be like, man, that is so old school. Don't wear that one. Let me see if I have something here. <laughs> I don't give a hoot about it. Why? Because I've owned boat shoes pretty much all my life probably. You just can't go wrong with it. It's getting hot now, and you know what? I, I can't continue to wear boots right now outside. If I'm al almost al always, almost always outside, I can't continue to wear boots. So I gotta find an alternative. And white sneakers is one, but if you want to dress it up a little bit more, in my opinion, the boat shoe still applies. <laughs> You already know what I think about style. It is subjective and this is my style. I love my boat shoes. I love my Sperry Topsiders. There are also thousands or not even, probably millions of people in the world that still do love the classic boat shoes. I'm one of them, so happen, right? I am not forcing you to buy boat shoes, but I'm saying is that it is still relevant in 2021 after 80 something odd years of being around, right? But the design of the boat shoes originally has white bottoms because the rubber that they used back then, they didn't want it to scuff the deck of the boats or stain it, obviously. That's why it had white bottoms. Um, the Siping was, you know, invented by John Sipe in 1920. And that's the reason why the bottom of the boat shoes have Siping in it. Mine, my boat shoes, I've had for a little while, so the siping is pretty much smoothed out, but you can still see it. You know, small siping right there. You can see it. Not sure if I'm allowed to take videos. I am taking videos. These are all of this. The company that he um, opened in 1935 
had changed over hands all throughout the centuries and bought by different companies. And in 2007, Payless Shoe Source bought the company. In 2012, Wolverine Worldwide decided that they wanted to buy the company back for about $1.2 uh, billion or something like that. And, uh, and, then, and thus, now it's owned by an American again in Massachusetts. So, very good shoes in my opinion. Nothing wrong with it. You know, it's a classic. It's always going to be around. There's hundreds and hundreds of iterations of the boat shoes that Topsider Wolverine Worldwide makes now. You can order online for about 100 bucks or even less sometimes. Depends on, on the sale and, and things like that. And it's always going to be in style, in my opinion. Hi. If you want to watch more videos like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button right there or right here. Also, I have an Instagram page. Check it out. Stylish Grease Monkey. I'll see you there.